Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Steven Kinchelik and in this video I'll be going over the Advanced Find window. Now the Advanced Find window is great for situations where you're trying to find a specific group of elements and then maybe move them to a different area on the strip board or just group them together. Now there's lots of options in the Advanced Find window so let me explain how it all works. Alright, so I've got my schedule open, and what I need here is I need to find all the scenes that have two specific characters in them, and I need to move that towards the beginning of the schedule because there's, I know there's a scheduling conflict. So I need to find scenes with George and Mont Bailey and move that to the beginning. So to do that, there's a tool here. If I go up to Edit, Find Advanced, this is the Advanced Find window, and it allows you to do some customized stuff. So uh, whereas the Find window, you can look for a certain element across the whole uh, across the whole schedule. The advanced lets you do a little bit more custom stuff. So what I'm going to do here is add a query, and by default it populates some stuff, and it's actually sort of what we're looking for. I'm looking for um, a category of cast members with the value equal to George. That's one of the two characters. And if I click on this and or, I'm going to select and and again select categories cast members equal to and I'm going to select Ma Bailey and you know you could say George and a prop member or a stunt I mean there's you know other combinations you can do I'm just using this as an example and you can look in the sheets and go sheet by sheet but what I want to do is I want to look in the strip board and uh, I will want to look at uh, not. It's not saying all the strip boards. It's saying either scheduled area and the boneyard. Uh, so I want to look across all, and I want to say move strips to. And you can say the beginning of the scheduled area or the boneyard. So uh, I know it's going to be the scheduled area. So uh, I'm going to say move strips to the beginning of the scheduled area. And if I click find, it's just going to find the first strip and move it to the beginning. But I want to say find all. So it finds all the strips and moves them to the beginning of the scheduled area. So I'm going to say find all. And it opened up this, the strip board. And it found all the strips, which is four of them. And it has them highlighted here and moved them to the front of the uh, strip board. Now if I want to, I can move these to day two. And you know they're all grouped together here uh, and do what I need to do with them. But that's just a really easy way to find some a little bit more complex stuff. Instead of finding one element, you can find multiple elements. Now what you can also do is, let's say there's sets that you have strewn across your entire schedule, but you know you need to group them and move them to a specific day. So I've got you know the back of the drugstore and some other sets throughout here. They're scattered throughout um, the schedule. And what I want to do is I know that I need to move those to day 10. So I can go up to Edit, Find Advanced, and I can get rid of these by highlighting it and hitting Remove. I'm going to add a criteria here, and I'm going to say look for a set equal to, I'm going to say the backroom drugstore. I'm going to add another one, and what I need to do is find the kitchen, because that's another one that I know I'm gonna, uh, going to move to that day. So I'm going to scroll down here, select kitchen. And uh, I, I have and here, but I, what, I, what I mean to do is have or. Because you're saying, I want to find this one, or this one, or this one. If it's and, this won't work, because it's going to look for both of them within the same scene, which is impossible. So uh, I'm going to say set equal to, and I know I need the bank, or, and let's add one more, set equal to and I know it was uh, Street Bailey Park so with all those selected again I'm gonna have look in the strip board I'm not gonna move the strips this time though I'm gonna uncheck that I'm gonna say find all now notice you know they're sort of strewn about here there's you know one down here on day 12 and a couple up here well, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and grab this one on day 12. I'm just grabbing this one. I'm going to move it down to day 15. Now notice they're all grouped together now though. So when you're finding all and you've got them all selected and you move one, once you let go it's going to group them all together. So this is a quick and easy way to group all those uh, 
uh, strips together that have all those different sets and move them to a day that you need them moved to. So that's just some of the things that you can do with that advanced find window. Now, are there any topics that you want covered in these tips and tricks? Or do you want to just send us some feedback? You can send that to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for all our new products and services. And while you're there, check out the community page where you can find ways to follow us on Twitter, friend us on Facebook, or subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.